what's the crack lads welcome to your what's coming thursday preview we're going to be talking about what new cards could come and showing you what's going to be replaced now i am going to be doing a second part to this video that i hope you guys will watch i'll have that up later on as well hopefully where we'll talk about what changes could be coming with v3.6 specifically and why i think that there is going to be another update before eFootball 2025 but we'll get into that right we are going to look at this so we already know that this level up campaign is going to be ending tomorrow so if you haven't signed in on your profile and get all of these login rewards it is going to be ending tomorrow right they've already stopped the beckenbauer login campaigns they've already stopped all of this uh, stuff that you're going to see here right they have mentioned on the v v3.6 that they are going to be bringing the update on the 13th of the 6th and they say that they're going to be giving you a free chance deal we know that that's coming right there has been no deep breakdown or patch notes or a preview from konami themselves where they said like look we're going to be adjusting passing shooting dribbling whatever right I'll get into that in the second video. This is more the content side of it, as we always do a video like this on a Wednesday. But we do know without looking too far, right? We do know that this is kind of a slightly different schedule of things. And that's probably been off-put by the Euro 2024 competition, because they're probably going to blow the lid on a lot of cards for that. We'll get into that. Um, but these events, as you see here... All of these events are ongoing. This event here and this event here is going to be ongoing with the European. So that's going to be ongoing until Monday, okay? But these Unlimited and the European Club event are going to be ended. That means that I think they're going to have probably like European style competitions or something where you'll be able to pick a Euro team with your Euro players and play through both offline and online with rewards. Maybe it's cards, coins, whatever, okay? I hope it's not just rinse and repeat skill trainers, man. I know that we're not going to get massive changes, I think, until eFootball 2025. That just kind of is with the way it's going to be. Um, but I definitely want some changes to this, right? Also with the eFootball League, we're on our free-to-play account here. On the eFootball League at the moment, they did leave that match pass, or sorry, they did rechange that phase, right? So they did revert that phase from the 6th, um, which was when the last campaign was meant to end and the last uh, objectives and the last you know season was meant to end that is ongoing until the 4th of july okay but they didn't redo that with the match pass so they ended the phase but they didn't end the match the match pass so you can get all your rewards here in the phase but they didn't end the match pass as i keep saying and keep repeating myself right because that is extended the same way as the cards were extended as well right so that kind of leaves us in a little bit of uncharted waters because that is ending tomorrow as well the sale is ongoing for another 13 14 hours right so that brings us to the point of all of these uh, cards here that you're going to see, right? All of these cards, I think it's 10 packs in total, are going to be ending tomorrow. So they extended all of these the last time, all of these packs that you're seeing here on screen, they extended those, um, where they talked about, like, you know, they, they didn't really come out and say information on it, but I do feel like that they are probably going to, the reason they extended those is because they're probably going to make make probably space for the Euro content to come out, because I reckon they'll probably just leave this and have maybe two nominating contract packs, and the rest is going to be European power packs, which, you know, is full squads, you know, of Italian players, French players, Portuguese squads, and they'll probably drip feed out those for maybe 12 teams in the Euros. I don't think they'll do all the teams. Um, obviously, they're going to tie in with the France kind of national team uh, as well, because they have a license with that or a partnership with that. But the Barcelona Epics, they probably will add Showtime and another Epic pack here, but they'll probably obviously leave this until the Monday. And that's going to tie in with the, Nash, the national packs, excuse me, um, that they've had done. This Avatar set or the Pez 2020 uh, throwback, that is ending as well. Um, so that's going to be your last chance to get that. And then I also think they're probably going to wait to do like the standard player list and the form and all that. They're probably going to wait to do that. I would say, personally speaking, I would say until the new next update comes. Now, I'm going to get into it in a second, right? And I'm just going to show you a couple of bits and pieces, but I will kind of lead this video into the next video, which I'll hopefully get up in a few hours, right? At the moment, there is nothing in the eFootball Point store for players, right? So they've really kind of taken this off. I reckon that they will add a player or two here tomorrow, whether it'll be a French player or something that ties in with a French pack who knows but i definitely think that they're going to add def uh, some changes to it same with the daily game i've heard that they're going to be kind of changing this but it mightn't happen to leave football 2025 let me know in the, in the comments below what you guys think of this daily penalty now i mean are you guys just logging in taking the penalty getting your bonuses doing the events or two on a monday and thursday and then dipping waiting for something um because you know listen i don't have massive expectations nor do i need the next big update which is coming tomorrow to be game changing i don't need them to rip the script up and just completely overhaul certain things i'm happy enough to wait 
and let them use the time until eFootball 2025. But eFootball 2025 then needs to bang. You know what I mean? If they're going to be adding cards and going to be adding a couple of fun events that can tide us over until the next big update, whether that's eFootball 2025 or it's another update that we're going to be getting, that is when it needs to go. You know what I mean? Because I do think that there is a lot of eyes on now with a bit of competition coming on, Um, you know, regardless of what your thoughts are, are on UFL. You know, within the next 12 months, you would imagine that there is going to be an alternative to a free-to-play football game. At the moment, Konami have that market corner. There is no free-to-play football game that is 100% free. You know what I mean? That you can just download it, delete it, download it again. It's 100% free. And mobile is so big. So I definitely think that tomorrow, all the campaigns that you see here are going to be ending. All of these extra level up campaigns, the new season is going to be kicking off. We already know the new season that's going to be kicking off because we do have it here. Um with this let me just take a look at this we and i'll get into this in the other video we do have these players packs here we know that they've been added to the to the database and obviously eFootballer and ct football on uh, on twitter have these mock-ups here we know that these two cards are going to be kind of spearheading the new content that they're going to be releasing right so as i said let's let me know your thoughts and i'm going to be doing a second video where we're going to be discussing a lot of stuff a lot of stuff to get through a lot of stuff a lot of stuff to discuss about what is going to be in tomorrow's update and it's going to be a fairly lengthy one where i'll show you a couple of bits and pieces and just try and scratch away at the surface to try and predict a little bit more accurately what we're going to be getting it's not going to be much content just a couple of cards and stuff and then we'll show the rest of what it actually could be but yeah that is it for me lads don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will talk to you in a little bit let me know what you guys want as well i think the player of the weeks and stuff will be you know taken back now for euro packs or euro 2024 20, packs and the cop americana packs um, but let me know your thoughts and I will see you in the video later on as well, which will be the bigger one.